Some years after Sharice and I had been traveling all over the nation, um, we, we were invited to come preach at a church called Free Chapel. And the pastor had booked me nine months in advance. I still have the envelope somewhere. I ran across it not too long ago and then lost it again. But they called the week that I was scheduled to come and they said, the pastor has passed away. Pastor Roy Welburn has passed away. And he died on a Friday night. And he had booked me and Sharice to come nine months before. And I had a sermon and I was ready to preach that sermon. And when I heard that the pastor had passed and of course the church was grieving, I felt like, um, number one, I wasn't worthy to come preach and I didn't want to come preach because I felt like it was a, a family, church family thing. I really thought they would probably cancel the service, but they said, no, he, he said from his deathbed, make sure they have service or told the, gave those instructions to someone. And so the Lord gave me this little sermon. I changed it, and I still have the envelope. It's from the book of Isaiah, and it was on, uh, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And he said, and I'll turn, give you beauty for ashes. That's it. And the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise. And I preached those three points, those three points that Sunday morning. The funeral was going to be after the service. And that morning, the Holy Spirit moved beautifully and powerfully and comforted those grieving family, that Welburn family and all the people who were there, and it was packed. And then the, the funeral happened, and, and somewhere in that service, I can tell you even when, when the coffin was coming down, I heard the voice of the Lord, just a whisper, just a whisper, and he said, they are as sheep without a shepherd. That's it. It wasn't a yell. It wasn't a go to free chapel. I'm going to touch people. We're going to be nothing. They are as sheep. And it messed with me. It sunk deep into my soul. I tucked it like Mary. I pondered it in my heart. For days, I told only Sharice that about that, that verse that I heard. It was powerful. It was real. I knew it. Ladies and gentlemen, when you get in a church like this that is open to the Holy Spirit, God knows how to speak to you. People all around you may hear nothing, feel nothing, experience nothing. But if you have Samuel ears... He knows how to interrupt your life with his great plan and destiny. But you must be sensitive, you must be open, and you must have your ear toward heaven. And, of course, we would go on and become the pastors of the church. I had preached in hundreds of churches. I'd never heard that scripture come up in me. They are a sheep with no shepherd. I had preached all over this nation in revivals for weeks and weeks and weeks, and never did I hear that scripture and that voice like that. It was a moment where God gave me a whisper. Whispers almost feel reckless. Whispers require you to step out. At some point, I had to leave my denomination, leave my security, leave everything that I had worked to build because God said, this is the way. It requires courage. It requires risk. It requires maybes. Just stepping out on nothing but a maybe. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.